Hi, Quigging, how are you? Good, good. good. Um, horrendous journey, terrible result. Uh, what are your reflections on the other night? Yeah, no, obviously disappointing not to, not to win. Um, like I said, been on a long journey, um, but disappointed not to win. We obviously didn't play our best. Um, you know, disappointed to not give um, you know, the fans who travelled over, had a long journey over, not to give them a, a result and a performance they deserve. So, yeah, it was a big disappointment at the whole camp. Really. You can hardly say we deserve to win though, could you? Um, uh, I'm not sure, I don't think so. I think we didn't probably create enough clear cut chances to, to say we deserve to win. Um, it's not easy to play against a team that you know sits back behind the ball and, and is defensive like that, but no, I don't think we played our best and we didn't create enough clear cut chances really to say we deserve to win. What about the goal? Was it preventable? Um, I think it's one of them, it's, it's obviously a great strike, but you can try to do things to prevent it, maybe keep the ball before it and maybe just getting up to the ball a bit a bit quicker and trying to get a block on it. But nah, I think as well you gotta gotta um, give credit to their players well for a for a, a great strike. But because of uh, Gavin's injury and he's he's left the squad, and um, I guess that gives you an opportunity now. I mean obviously you were chosen for the game in Armenia, um, and you assume now that, that Stephen will, will stick with you. Like when you're in possession of the shirt, it's different to when you're trying to get the shirt, isn't it? Yeah, no, it is different. Yeah, obviously, um, happy to play the last game as well. Um, unfortunate, obviously, what happened to Gavin. I wouldn't wish injuries upon no one. Um, so it's unfortunate there. Um, like I say, hopefully, an opportunity for me now to to get in and, and you know do a good job and try to hold on to the shirt. Yeah, against Ukraine, that'll be a different type of opposition as well. And the fact of what's happening in their country as well is that something you think that will have an effect on the on the players. Um, oh, I don't think it will have an effect on us, obviously we're just trying to play a, play a football game really. Um, we've obviously watched the last two Ukraine games that they've just played, obviously a, a really good side, um, really good in possession um, and cause us a lot of problems so we need to be just focused on the game really and just try to work on the things we need to do and, and try to get a good result. Thanks, Go ahead, off, please. Hi, yeah. Um, yeah, because of the result of the weekend, do you feel you now need to do something special to, to top this group? Um, I wouldn't say something special, I just think obviously we need to get back to winning ways on Wednesday. Start off you know, with a win and then see where we can go from there. But um, yeah, listen, the result obviously wasn't ideal on Saturday and doesn't put us in a, in a good position. But it's the first game, I think there's still a, a lot of games to play. So hopefully if we can start with a win on Wednesday, then maybe we can try to carry that on. And, and the Was there a rustiness in, in some of the players' performances, do you feel? Um, I don't think it was a rustiness, no, I think, obviously it is difficult when you have a few weeks off, but I don't think um, it was rustiness, you know, we had a good week's training and we were all, we were all prepared, and just, it was just one of them games where we didn't manage to perform on, on the night, but um, I, don't, I wouldn't put it down to rustiness, I just think it was just the performance. Uh, can I just quickly ask about your Liverpool situation, have you decided yet whether you stay as a number two next season or you go on loan? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure on, what, on what's happening, yeah, I think like you say, it's still... So finishing this season and then and then we'll have conversations after to see to see what happens. Cheers. Damien, please. Kevin, obviously a disappointing result the other night, but what has this season at club level taught you about dealing with the highs and lows that football brings? Yeah, no, absolutely. I think um, obviously at club level we we um, we won two trophies um, earlier on, and then obviously at, at the end of the season wasn't ideal, losing the kind of two two finals or whatever. Um, so yeah, it's, it's taught me that you know kind of. Not get too high on the highs and not get too low on the lows. Just try to keep that even, even keel. So, um, yeah, I think it's 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 just given me good experiences on how to how to deal with situations like winning and coming down from a high and then, you know, being on a on a low as well after losing. But yeah, it's, it's just good experiences. And, and, and your club manager seems to be very very good at that. What can you learn from the way he approaches the, the, the highs and lows? Yeah, and obviously he's, he's he's very good. He, you know, he doesn't. Like I just said, there doesn't get too high on the highs and doesn't get too low on the lows. You know, you have to kind of keep that even keel because football is probably, as you know, it's probably like a roller coaster. Sometimes, sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down. So no, just he just he's very good at keeping that kind of steady evenness and just keeping us calm and, and you know just focusing on the next. Joe, please. Thanks, Gigi. Uh I think it was thirty-one degrees when you kicked off uh, in your van. How difficult was it to play in those conditions? Um, yeah, obviously it's, it's very difficult, but I don't think we can use that as an excuse. You know, we had we had a few days there to adapt to the weather, so I wouldn't I wouldn't use that as an excuse. 
Okay, and um, Stephen Kenny said that the, the aim was to talk to the group. Is there still belief within the group that, that you can achieve yeah, the Yeah, absolutely, yeah. But like I say, it was a setback on, um, on Saturday with the result, but I think we still know we're good enough as a squad. We've had some good results um, recently, so I think we're good enough to win every game, remain and, and top the group. Gavin, please. Hi, Pee Bean. Are you tempted to play club move? Um, just to go out and be in a I'm not sure yet, man. Obviously, I'll just need to get, play these few games and see what happens with these and then and maybe just say that. So. And then what's been the messaging from Stephen Kenny in the hours and days since Armenia? Yeah, no, obviously, it was, um, it was disappointing with the, with the performance, really. Um, so we've just been looking back on that, trying to, trying to see what we can do better. And then the focus really is just switch to Ukraine. It's, you know, you have to let that go as soon as that game's over, we need to move on and forget about it and we've just trying to bring folks on Ukraine and, and get the regular out there. Neil please. Craven, you'll potentially come to the end of this window having started maybe six games in a row. How important is that for your development and do you think you need to be playing more regularly at club level to be chosen on an ongoing basis beyond that? Um, yeah, no, it's been, it's been really good to obviously hopefully play a few more games. Um, so the last few games as well has been really good for me. Um, you know, great, great to get games at international level. It's a, it's a very high level, so really good for my development. And um, yeah, you know, don't know what can happen. Um, I don't know what's going to happen at club level, obviously. But you know, if you keep performing, when I get the chance, hopefully, um, you can stay in and keep all the drills. John, please. Yeah, Kevin, just sort of link to that. The last time you spoke to Gary, you spent a lot of time talking about your reasons why you felt it was better that you stayed rather than went alone. And the fact that when Gavin got injured, Stephen in front of you rather than the goalkeeper who's playing regularly. Is that sort of justify your stance? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I think, just think, um, yeah, I just want to be, you know, ready to play all the time. I don't, I don't um, think if you perform and you get the chance here, I don't know if that's good enough or what the situation is. I was lucky that I was selected um, when Gavin got injured, so hopefully, hopefully I can um, put into performances to justify that decision and, and hopefully it stays the same. Dan, please. Um, Creevy, I know it's a couple of months ago now, but can I just ask like, how special was it to be involved in that League Cup final? And are they the kind of the occasions that give you a taste for more, if you know what I mean, to, to be on that stage? Yeah, no, obviously it was, it was a really special, special moment for me. Um, you know, to win, a, to win a cup with such a, a big club like Liverpool was obviously it was a, it was a great moment. Um, and yeah, like you say, and obviously when you when you do it once, you kind of want to do it again and again and get that feeling again. So um, now it's given me great motivation to try and do it again and, and get those experiences. Again. What's it like to see yourself on the mural? Yeah, yeah no, it's nice. Obviously, it's 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 a it's a nice thing to have at the club, and it's nice to to be able to look at it now with, with myself on it. It's, you know, it's a it's proud it's a proud moment for me to be to be on a wall with such you know legends like that. Time for a final question if anybody wants it. So brief John then. Thank you. In the build up, um, Gavin, to Saturday, were you or were you prepared to play? Yeah, there was um like I said, there was there was um I don't think there was a decision made on who was playing, so I was just ready preparing like I was gonna play, like I think all three of us were we all were prepared like we're playing, so there was no decision on who was playing and then once once I got the nod then I was I was ready and prepared to. So when did you find out? Um, I found it for you. Okay, thanks guys.